We are now going to look, oh, see, this is something new for me. I always love when you're here, Andrew, because you always introduce me to new stones and new pieces. So I hope I'm going to say it right, but I know you'll correct me if I don't. <laughs> the sterling silver Shiva shall, I shall pendant. That's right. Did and Shiva, right? Is Shiva is one of the great gods of Hinduism, of the uh, triumvirate of gods. And you, this is known because of the natural occurrence. These are uh, shells that have a naturally occurring Cur you know, it's like a curlicue in, in the, the shell itself. And, uh, yeah, if you could turn it over, Kelly. On the other side, what you see is the outside of the shell, and I like this equally as much. It is actually the feathering that you see on the shell. So, in essence, you, you know, you have a, a two-sided pendant. But what we have here is a pendant. They're known as Shiva eyes. They're known as the, um, the uh, Buddha eyes as well, the third eye of Buddha. And apparently in South Africa, they're, called, they're known as... The money of the maritime. So that's an interesting, ah. uh, an interesting link. And so each one of these is natural, and you can see the beautiful styrations that run through them. I chose these, you know, literally one by one in Jaipur when I was there a few months ago, and I had to go through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these pieces to get uh, the collection that we're bringing you. And what we've done is we've uh, set it in a very complementary setting. You have the, uh, the ancient symbol of the spiral at the top, and this as well in, uh, very, in many representations of Buddha, you will see his, the third eye is represented the same way, and in some cultures this shell is known as, the, uh, known as Shibarai in India, known as the Buddha eye as well. Ah, so okay. it's a, um, and it's known in metaphysical terms as a protection against negative energy. And of course, the third eye, we also think about warding, warding off, the, off the evil, warding off right. the negative energy. And many cultures have this uh, tradition, and this is uh, embodied in this particular pendant. It's funny, uh, I was talking with somebody yesterday, and, and one of the things that I was saying is that you know, there's a lot of negative energy out there. That's and right. I, even on the radio, I was listening to a talk show this morning on my way, and people talking about negative energy. It is so much easier to be positive and happy than it is to be negative. Uh, and if you want to ward off the negative energy, maybe this is the piece to do it. I love the color combinations, the striations. Isn't that beautiful? And you're absolutely right about that. You know, to have jewelry, you know, has, you know, the psychological impact of wearing jewelry. Why do we wear jewelry? Because it makes us feel better. It makes us feel more powerful. And it helps us stay positive, be infused with positive energy. I think energy. I want to hold the and necklace up to anybody who's and nasty. And off, because you said there is so much negative energy swirling yeah. around us at all times. You know, when you have a piece of jewelry that, you know, has that intention, has this legend behind it, um, can only help. See, I would wear it on my neck, and anybody, anytime somebody came came near me, that was na I'm just going to hold it up like this and go, back off, keep your negative energy to yourself. Well, the other thing that many people do with these type of amulets is, you know, when you feel negative energy around you, is just touch you know it. touch it between your uh, index finger and your thumb, just to get that just feeling like of nature. That's right. You know, it's just with rosary beads, for example, mm. that same idea, just to bring you back to center again. I, I think it is a stunning piece. I think you'll love the color combinations too. It's very different than a lot of the stones that it, we see, the sort of the pale yellows well. and the grays yep. and the bit of greens. I, I think you will fall in love with this piece with this, the natural swirl, the beautiful striations. Absolutely gorgeous. The sterling silver Shiva eyeshell pendant, $59.99. That one is not going to last. It is so unique. Love the colors and we rarely see something with the creams and the yellows in a natural stone like that.